Good afternoon, everyone. Well, we're totally slammed here at the museum, so I've been, I haven't been able to do much in the way of maintenance work that I planned. But interesting thing, I took out this, uh, this motor from one of our tornado boats, which had, uh, wor which had worn it out. Now, normally they're, those are coin-operated boats, but ours are set to free play, so they're very, very high mileage. Kids drive them around all day. I took the motor out because the bearing had too much resistance and took it apart. First interesting thing I noticed here, now this is a Swiss-made Maxon motor. They're very high quality and the company is, they're hardcore, man. I, I remember long ago I had requested an application guide from them and the next, they not only sent it to me, but the next day they gave me an international phone call to ask if they had what, the, what I wanted and whether they, I needed a custom order. They're so cool. Anyway, first thing I noticed, these curved brushes. Now, this motor is made to operate both alternately reverse and forward, which normally kills brushes. I'm guessing this was their attempt to prevent the brush from shifting and developing an uneven contact profile on the commutator. Anyway, so you have those little, they're attached with a little bronze pivot here. Actually, a very tiny oilite bushing, I suspect. Told you they're hardcore. Around the back, this, rub, this red plug was pressed in after. There is no bearing on the back of this motor, unlike like a Mabuchi motor or whatever. There's a uh, little access port where you can view what's going on when you're assembling it. I pin the brushes back through the pinholes with a pair of resistor leads that I cut off something. From the front of the shaft, there are a couple of shims, oil seal, a little uh, circlip. I suspect this is actually a sleeve bearing. It was clipped up here at the top so it didn't just fall out and fall right out. Now, when we extract it, there's a surprise. You may be used to seeing iron cores in your motors. Not here. Nego. Steel shafts on the magnet. Coreless. It is completely and totally coreless. What this means is when you uh, rapidly shift the boat from forward to reverse, you're wasting a lot less energy. Here's the commutator on the back here. You know, like I said, high mileage, so it's not all that pretty anymore. Down here is the magnet and chewed up old pieces of bearing. It really took a beating. Best I can tell, this whole be this whole bearing, it does not look to me like it's a, like it's a ball bearing. So what I'm going to do probably is contact Maxon and ask what lubricant they su they suggest I drip down this little shaft to keep the thing in better shape. Because the tornado boats, their little their instructions, which actually come in the form of a comic strip, say that you put two drops of oil down the prop shaft. Every, uh, every week. I always suspected they meant like go down the shaft to where it goes through the hull bushing, but obviously this could use some oiling too. There's some oil on this because I tried oiling it to see if it would fix the motor, but no such, no such luck there. Anyway, there you have it. I'll uh, see if there's a way to take the motor apart further later. It probably involved drilling these two roll pins and pressing the magnet mounting out, but this is so interesting. It's a Maxon coreless DC brush motor. There's the uh, part number on it, which I don't know if it's a standard part or if Tornado orders them special.